first met you, you um, were amazing and you were so successful in everything you did, but you had a big message to get out. Mm. And I remember that conversation. Do you remember? Yes. Yeah, I really do. And it's actually so interesting, sort of when you look, you roll back because obviously the conversation that we are, were talking about and will be talking about, I hadn't realised how important it was for me to share either. Um, but I'm super proud to be here, regardless of anything else. What happened was years ago, sadly, Emma uh, suffered some terrible abuse. Me staying quiet about being abused sexually and abandoned uh, as a child is protecting the wrong people. Yeah. And it suddenly it felt awkward, and it, yeah. it was a it was a real rub for me because I was thinking actually, you know, if I speak out, could it car crash everything that I'm doing? Because it's yeah. such an uncomfortable yeah. conversation. The, the balance tipped in favour of speaking out because I felt that if I could give someone some hope through what I'd gone through and to protect children because of what I'd gone through, yes. um, then it would reduce maybe um, child sexual abuse for some children by bringing an awareness into people's lives mm -hmm. and, and, and a conversation that really people don't still want to hear because it's so uncomfortable and horrible, but it's a reality for so many children. You know, the stats, they say one in 20, one in six, one in four. I actually think it's higher than that because of all the people that come to me and don't speak out. Mm. So it kind of makes you think, wow, this is huge. Yeah. Back in the day, the first time I met you was all to do with your brand story. Yeah. Uh, and I remember Emma came to me and we started something called a Clarity and Direction Model. And I remember going through that process with you. I still think you've got the, yes, your notebook. I've still got my notebook, yeah. You know, it was um, around the difficult COVID years where, mm. you know, everyone got hugely affected in business. And I was doing a million and one things here in the UK and around the world with lots of different things in my own business. It felt a bit of a muddle, actually, by having that conversation where I felt that I could be pulled up and go, okay, let's shake that about, let's get rid of all these other things, mm. and, and, and here is your, uh, your business, and actually your, your voice is now gonna be forming part of a different awareness and campaign. Um, and, it, and I felt so much freer then, because it felt like I, my, my journey was going down new lanes, new paths, and it felt just so good to be doing that, you know? Yeah. It felt so good, it felt, kind of holier than thou kind of thing that I was like okay I'm where I want to be with my businesses performing arts working with children mm. that's my passion you know mm. my real passion is performing arts as is well-being and fitness and and all those other wonderful things are wrapped around that and that kind of also folds into the campaigning um, working with children well-being um, and giving people a voice to also know that they're okay to speak up as well so yeah it felt really good sort of just going okay let's just lay it all out, I want this, I want this, I want this, and that's got to be part of my life because regardless of anything else, that's, that's a lot of time I'm going to invest. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, you go into uh, the depths of conversations that I hadn't considered before were important, actually. Um, and made me think about things that I hadn't even thought were relevant. And actually, even though I might not have used them at that time, I realise now, fast forward, that I'm using them, you know, in the work that I'm doing. So, you know, we I had a, I created the scrapbook. The work that we did, there was lots of it. Um, and you, know, you close that book and then the logo comes, you're like, okay, let's see what happens. And now you're seeing actually a lot of this book is being used. It's been really fun, it's been deep, there have been some emotional times because of the subject matter. Um, but I've always felt very safe uh, and very protected by you as a person, regardless of business, because uh, you, know, you are a very caring person. Um, and I know that that has been the, one of the most important things for me. I truly feel 
as a person and a campaigner and someone who's founded the charity. Um, a lot of good work has already been done and that has to be celebrated, right? Absolutely. People are being looked after. Absolutely. And I also think it's really important to talk about it more and more because, you know, you welcome those conversations when, you know, you might be in the gym and somebody comes yeah. up and talks oh. to you or you just might be, I don't know, somewhere and somebody says something. People and they've, have stopped me in the streets. Right? They've run after me down the streets to the yeah. point that I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, are they, yeah. what do they want? Yeah. And, and they're like, I've just seen something that you've done and... I want you to know that I've gone through that and you've helped me. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm learning all the time mm -hmm. um, and that's a good thing. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely been a trigger, right? This conversation that mm. you and I had that one day and here we are. Exactly. Well, I'm very proud of our <laughs> conversations. So, bye for now. It's not about me. It's about the people I find to empower to do great things. Bye for now.